This is a video showing how to use our encrypted HIPAA compliant method to easily have you receive reports from us regarding patients that you have referred to us for treatment. It's important that we do this and we've spent a lot of time trying to figure out what is going to be the easiest way. What the system allows you to do is access our server directly and download directly to your computer that you're working from information regarding your patients. This then means it doesn't go through anyone else's server and it's HIPAA compliant. Most of the time you will receive an email saying that there is a report for you. The easiest way to access the report is to open the email. This will say who it's regard regarding. Click on this button here and this will take you directly to the login portion of our website. You need to do a simple arithmetic problem to make sure that you are not a robot and that we're complying with HIPAA. That will take you directly to that individual's report. You then just click on download the file. Now this is living on your computer. You can then save this file, which is uh, the copy of the report that is now uh, living on your server. You are prompted to this odd name that our uh, HIPAA compliant assigns it, but you can call it whatever you want. I'll call it Ken Tittle 4. Save it to where you want. I'm going to save it in my documents. And now, if I close out of my web browser and go into just where my documents are, there is that report now living on your computer absolutely as easy as opening an email would have been and now you can do with it whatever you would like. You can print it or save it to your own digital file. If you are looking for uh, the report of a patient that you don't have an email sitting there for you, you can then go to our website DiabloValleyEndo.com You'll be prompted to our lovely beach scene, which I love. You then click into the referring doctor area. You're going to then need to choose whether the patient was seen in Pleasant Hill or Walnut Creek. Then you go to this familiar login area. Um, I'm still logged in from before, but if I wasn't and I had it saved on my web browser, it would still ask me to do the arithmetic. Now you're in the area uh, where you are looking at just your patient's information on our server. So you can search for the patient by typing a few of the letters of their last name and then search and it will pull up everyone that matches that. If you want to see all of the patients that you've referred, you type in asterisk and it will pull up all the patients that you have referred in alphabetical list. You can then click on the one you're interested in. This will then bring you to a page that has all of the reports we have generated for this patient. You can click on the most recent one or whatever you're looking for. You can also click into this area to see the treatment series associated with this patient. If it was a recent evaluation, then you'd have the date uh, for that procedure. It then will bring you to a final report based on that treatment series. If you just want to look at things in general, there are a few other things you can look at. You can look at what prescriptions we have written for the patient. You can look at notes that we have uh, shared regarding this patient. If we've done recall on the patient, you can see that too. Um, and this is a good one here. If we have images that we have shared, they'll show up in this pane. You can directly download just these images if you wish. And the way you do that is you click on the image to enlarge it. Then if you are on a PC, you do right click and pick save as. If it's a Mac, you do control 
and click. You can save the image as what you want. Now this is going to put it on your computer. So again, you want to call it something that makes sense to you. Anyone that knows me knows I'm a horrible typist. Decide where you want to put it. I'm going to put this in documents also. So now we can get out of that page. And once again, we can get out of the browser and look at my documents. And there is the picture that's now living on my computer that I can do whatever I want with. So this is an easy way if you're just interested in getting the image. Another way to use this information is when you get to the doctor's login screen, you can search by patient's last name or you can search by appointment date. This will then give you in descending order patients that have been to us most recently. This is a handy way uh, to look um, if we want to have a summary of people that might need restorative treatment. And this is a real quick, easy way uh, to have kind of a quick call list with people that might need crowns or fillings. And that's another way that you can use the information on our server. Putting this all together, I really feel that this is uh, an efficient way to do things correctly uh, in terms of complying with HIPAA, protecting our patient's information, and making sure that you can have our information uh, regarding your patient as quickly as possible. I hope this video was helpful. Uh, any more questions, you know you can give us a call. Um, we're here to help.